In this lecture, guys, I'm going to cover some more NumPy attributes. Uh, we looked at a bunch of attributes in the previous lecture, as you can see. Um, in this lecture, I'm going to cover a few more. So let's print out all the array attributes that we know so far that we defined here by the way up top here, x1, x2, x3, which were one dimension, two dimension, three dimensional respectively. Let's print them out here, x1, x2, x3. As you can see, this is a one dimensional array. This is a two dimensional array. So two brackets here. This is a three dimensional array. There's gonna be three square brackets. Um, now, look, now let's look at uh, one of the array attributes, which is x1 dot d type. So this attribute is going to give you the data type of the array. Um, as you can see, uh, x1, this guy here, this is a NumPy array with elements of type int64. That means they are in integer types, as you can see. Uh, let's try this on x3 dot d type. d type means data type. Again, there are no parentheses or brackets here, just the name, okay? Uh, as you can see, this array has elements of type int64 or integers. Uh, so yeah, so this is the dtype attribute uh, for numpy array. Uh, the other attribute that I'm gonna show you is the item size. So x1 dot item size. So what this guy is gonna do is, it's gonna list the size in bytes of each array element. So if you do this, so x1 dot item size, that means that every element in the x1 array, this guy here, is gonna be of the size uh, eight bytes, okay? So this is for individual elements, right? Uh, then similarly, we also have something called uh, n bytes, which is x1 dot n bytes. So what this guy is going to do is, this will list the total size in bytes of the entire array, okay? Which is 48. So again, item size gives you the size of the individual element and the n bytes give you the size of the entire array. And we can check this by the way. So here, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six elements in the X1, right? And we are saying that uh, each element is of size eight from the item size attribute. So if you do six times eight, it should be 48, which is this guy here. So we, yeah, we just cross checked that n bytes is giving us the correct uh, total size of the array. Okay, we can try this guy again on x2. So x2 dot item size. This attribute should give us uh, the 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 size of individual element in the x2 array, which is eight again because it's of type int int64. And if you wanna look at the total size of the array, it should be x2 dot n bytes and it's 96 and we can check that again in x2 we have one two three one two three four so like 12 12 times 8 is i think 96 yeah i think that's correct so yeah there you have it we looked at three uh, numpy attributes in this lecture uh, one was the d type which gives us the data type of the array second one was item size which gives us the size of the individual element in the array and the third one was n bytes which gives us the size of the entire array in bytes so that's pretty much it guys see you in the next one